I work hard every mother day, yeah, yeah, yeah. I work hard, I work hard. What is up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today, we are hopping on that beauty right there, our first ever celebrity cruise. Woohoo! You can see that beauty right behind Laura, the Celebrity Equinox. I am very excited to try out Celebrity. I feel like it's been a long time coming, but it's basically like a glamorous version of Royal Caribbean, from yeah. what I've heard. A little bit more classy, little more relaxy. We'll be drinking relaxy. Rela I don't know. <laughs> I was going with it. A little more relaxy and classy. We'll be drinking more martinis, you know. And I feel like, honestly, that this is going to be like the Alaska equivalent in the Caribbean. Like, that's what we've been hearing. Like, you know how Alaska is super chill and laid back? Oh, yeah. That's what they said celebrity is going to be like. I don't know, though, because this is JJ Cruz's group cruise. That is true. So it might be a little litty. But yeah, this is Laura's OOTD outfit of the day. Little colorful hibiscus looking flowers. Pink. Nice. Thank Very you. nice with the pitties and the pink lipstick. Thank that you very much. That is gorgeous. And then, of course, I'm finally feeling free again. And I have the matching outfit, the Kenny flowers. Don't look at the shoes. These are just like everyday walking shoes. You look really good. I feel Thanks. like those colors look really nice on you. How's the hair looking? Pretty bright in the sun. Looks beautiful. You're like a highlighter. I guess beautiful highlighters are beautiful. But no, I'm ready to get on this ship. I hope you're ready to get on it. I know we've been needing it for so long. Also, we'll throw back Miss Adventure of the Seas is right over there. Oh yeah. Just chilling, Max and relaxing Uncle Wayne for us. That's where we started. We've I'm seen her part. in the Bahamas, in the United States, and in Bermuda. Yep. All right, let's get on board and check out what Celebrity has to offer us. Yay! And I'm also glad that our status transfer from Royal Caribbean. That is so nice. I'm ready. I got our pink level eight suitcase down there. We're gonna give you guys more details about that later. She's a beauty. But also, I got my, hopefully they lift us on. I have my 15 foot 360 selfie cam stick. And this one's better because it has lashes and it extends really quickly. Sorry for anyone's ears, that was probably really loud. All right, let's go and get on this ship. I'm nervous about this, honestly. Also, every year I get a new straw hat. So I just wanna say shout out to Griff and Alyssa for providing this, the shark skin, the whale shark hat. Really nice quality. I love it. Like I actually, I don't normally love those, but it looks really nice. Compared to what I'm used to getting, these are like- The Walmart one. Yeah, they're, these, I feel like this one's gonna last a lot longer. Yeah, I agree. Port Everglades is definitely an interesting one because when you first pull up, you can't just go right to the port and park. You have to actually go through like a gated like system when they ask you, let me see your ID and are you having any weapons? So it's kind of different that I'm not, something that I'm not used to, but it still is pretty nice. And it have like three different ports you can pick from. It is such a nice, day today nice and clear there's not a lot of traffic miami this will be slammed with yeah, cars this is peaceful this video isn't sponsored by griffin Alyssa at all but like this texture right here is nice i love it and then it matches my hair so can you guys guess what my favorite color is laura do you know what my favorite color is yellow no it's actually red do keep in mind we still have a ways to go to walk up to the port and we walked from all the way back there to like that, that corner area. So there is a hike when you park at some of these ports at um, Port Everglades. So it's not just like how it is in Miami or Port Canaveral, where it's just like the parking deck's right here and the port is right here. Here we go, Celebrity Equinox, Celebrity's Cruises Terminal. It's like Harry Potter and the candles floating in the Great Hall. So far, this terminal looks really nice. I mean, Royal Caribbean, that company would not do well, like do bad. So I'm guessing all their terminals oh, look nice. yeah, it's like the Chick-fil-A of cruising. Yeah. <laughs> so this whole situation is kind of weird. We have an 11 o'clock boarding time, but they're making us wait in all these different groups to board the ship. Usually with Royal Caribbean, we can just like get right on at our time. But yeah. now they're making us wait and sit down, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I mean, it's just a little inconvenient. I mean, we are late, so I get that. But it gives me a chance to stop sweating, so that's okay. Check-in was pretty much a breeze with like five minute check-in, so it's not bad. <sighs> I'm ready to go find our friends though. I'm ready for a drink. Look at those eyes, so gorgeous. Oh wow, thank you. Even the lady coming in here said you had nice eyes. By the way, how are you guys liking this new camera? Like we can zoom in on my eye and it should be shallow, look nice and crisp. Let us know in the comments down below how you're liking it. Look at what Gabby's wearing. We're gonna match. Wait, Laura, are we getting on board right now? Yeah. Is there no photo op for celebrity? Aww, it makes me kind of sad. All right, here we go. It's official. We're on our first celebrity cruise together. Oh. Ready to go hit our march? That's a big, Welcome that is everyone. a big spoon. Ooh, hello. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go knock out our mustard drill. Okay. And then head to the room and drop all these bags off. This is nice. 
Look at this. They got the buttons on their heat, like down on a pedestal and not on the wall. It already feels like a fancy hotel, like a Hyatt or something. It, it really does. By the way, if you guys couldn't tell, I got my selfie stick on board. So you can bring a 15 foot selfie stick on a celebrity cruise. Yeah, and you get lots of looks. Oh, have I been getting a lot of looks? <laughs> Everyone passes by you like that. Here's a cruise trade secret. If you walk down a little bit to another bank of elevators that are not where everyone boards, they're usually free. Not free, they're usually not. Open, there's less people to get on the elevators. Well, that was pretty easy. Yeah, it took two seconds. Literally, all he did was scan our pass and then that's it. So it's pretty similar to what Royal does on their ships for mustard check-in. Yeah. Elevator's right there, so we got a good room right next to the elevator. And like you'll think, our room is on this hallway. But, but Laura, we're special. we're special. So we're gonna walk down this room and we turn in here to where like the career is. And our room is right here. That's different. I'm curious to see what it looks like because I've never had a room outside the hallway before. As is tradition, yeah. you can do and the And the honors. rooms aren't ready yet, so we're not gonna do a room tour yet. We're just dropping off our luggage. And that is a nice perk with celebrity other than like any other cruise ship. Usually you cannot drop your stuff off when you get on the ship. And they told us that when we were checking in too. They were like, you can go ahead and do that. So we just, we're just gonna drop it off and head out. Yep, you ready? Yep. All right. Not much of a reveal, but... It's, it's a little design. Yeah, they're not bad. Let's see what this interior room looks really? like. Oh, this is a big interior room. It's actually really spacious. Yeah, there's so much room for activities in here. Then we have like a table area sitting down. Laura, this is big. I'm not mad at this. It looks much bigger than the photos. Yeah. Okay, so let's just drop our stuff off and we can do a room tour a little bit later. Wash your hands. <laughs> All right, let's drop our stuff off and do a room tour a little bit later. Go get a drink, cool off, use the bathroom, you know, all the, the usual. Turn the air down to Antarctica. If you guys didn't know, we just booked this restaurant. It's Tuscan Grill. It was pretty simple. I love being able to do that. Just like go up to them and they just do it all for you. I mean, it is a little nerve wracking when you're on the app. You had to buy the dining package and you can't book until you're on the cruise. But a little bit of word of advice when you're on the cruise, just go right to one of the restaurants like we booked all our restaurants in this one restaurant go to your muster and then go book your restaurants because they the reservations do fill up even if you have a dining package they can still fill up all right i think we are ready oh we have to go to the fitness area now because we might do kick we might do some boxing or kickboxing or something like that and then we can go find our friends and have a drink we are going to try to keep the ship shape going while we're on a ship because i feel like that's the whole point I'm trying to find that balance you know, some days more than others, probably. I don't know if today, though, is gonna be very ship shapey. So I was scrolling through, like, trying to figure out, like, I was looking at the map of the ship and stuff, and I'm like, this looks like, I'm not finding anything I need. I realized I am on the Royal Caribbean app. By the way, we have a, a, a ship book, but we're not gonna tell you which one. <laughs> I almost showed the page, too. But I was just scrolling through Royal Caribbean. We're on Celebrity. We're so used to it, and it looks so similar. So unfortunately, we cannot do the boxing class. I signed up, us up for, like, a class boxing thing. They don't have it on the sailing. I don't know if it got canceled or they just changed it, I don't know. I promise we're gonna be in here because this looks like a nice gym. Yeah, they gave us a list of classes, so we're gonna take a look and come back and book something maybe. Yeah. Wow. This is the solarium on this ship. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I wanna be in here. I wanna be in here, Laura. It looks it's, so nice. It's really nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. Let's go find a drink. Let's chill. I love that it's not hot. A bar in here. All right, we just got our first drink, so you know what that means. What does that mean? Wow. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, guys. Let's try that I again. Forgot. Hi, I'm Laura, and this is my first drink of the day. I'm sorry, guys. Let's we're gonna we're gonna do that one again because Laura doesn't seem like she's like happy to be here. I'm gonna need her to be like. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura, and this is my first drink of the day. There we go. Look at that. So happy. What did you get? Pomegranate mojito. It was the only one at the Passport bar that was under $10, which is what's included in our classic drink package. And then I got a drink too. Hi, my name is Payne, and this is my first drink of the day. Ooh, that's tequila. I like it. I think I, I guess called like a Mexican standoff or shootout. A Mexican firing squad. But yeah, we're officially on a cruise now. Hi, my name is Fane, and this is my second drink of the day. You can't really tell because I got the same thing over again, but Laura has a second drink Thank of the day you. now, too. It will not be a cruise if Laura did not get an espresso martini. First of 50. This is the TikTok magic behind the scenes, so like if you ever want to know what a viral vi what goes into a viral video, that's what goes into it's a viral a video. Is it that good? 
It tastes like ice cream. Look at those eyes. These are the eyes of a killer Bella. What? I know you know. You know what we still have to do, right? Shopping. Yep. I think we're gonna have to go see Sylvia to do that. What's up guys, Editor Fane here. With all the excitement, I noticed that we forgot to say, if you guys are new here and enjoying the content, or you wanna see some more content, make sure you hit that like button down below, and also subscribe, come check it out, it's free. And also, you can always unsubscribe, so why why not just try it out? This little, little trial period, see if you like it or not. No hard feelings. But if you really want to get intimate, go ahead and hit that little join button down there next to the like button and see what it's all about. But on all serious guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys are enjoying this video. Now back to the video. <laughs> I'm Laura and this is my third drink of the day. It's only been two minutes since the first one. So we are chilling at the martini bar. Check this out. This martini bar is straight up ice. Like the whole bar. That is so weird. I've never seen anything like that before. As is tradition, it's boarding day, and you know we have to get some shots. So everyone that we're hanging out with decided to do lemon drop shots, and I'm not upset about it, but at the same time, like, uh, I'm not ready for this. But look at all the shots. They're like in mini little martini glasses. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. In one Shit. shot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. It's not bad. Finally got you some food. I needed it after that lemon drop shot. Oh, look at this. This color. It's going to be a good cruise. It's a hot one. One other note for people who wanted yeah. to dine together or dine with others. Questions. This is making me a little nervous of how to do a room cruise. We haven't planned anything yet. We are going to plan something, but we haven't planned anything like that. And Jordan just has everything just like work and like set up. I don't want to let anyone down, so we have to like really come up with something good. The cruise has officially started. It feels so good. We're finally on a cruise. We're finally on a legit cruise in 2023. How are you liking Celebrity so far? I just felt a cold breeze from the air conditioning and I'm loving celebrity so far. <laughs> we're leaving the beach behind, Fort Lauderdale behind. For the next 48 hours, Laura, we're gonna be at sea. Like we're not gonna see any land for the next 48 hours. And some people might think that's kind of crazy, but I'm loving it. I don't get how it scares people. I mean, I kind of do. Yeah, I like, do. Like it's just open ocean. But to me, it's like the most comfortable, comforting thing. And the just sunset. To be in the middle of the ocean. And the like, sunrises. I kind of regret not having a balcony room, but at the same time, I'm not mad at this. Wait, what is this? We just walked inside the Sky Observation Lounge. What is this? This might be more your vibe. We're inside, and we can still watch the sail away. I like this. This honestly gives me more of like Alaska vibes than anything. Hospital vibes? Alaska vibes. Oh, yeah, it is. Beautiful. Remember how Disney had the whole like napkins that were like hot, like fabric type of thing? How are we getting water glasses and crystal glasses? Also, when I went to the bathroom, there were like napkins available. To like napkin wipe napkins? Hands after you wash. Actual cloth napkins after you wash your hands. Wow. Yeah. Margaritaville could never. So far, I can honestly say I am thoroughly enjoying this celebrity lifestyle. It has the comfort of Royal, which makes sense because they're the same, they're part of the same company, but at the same time, it's just a little like a step above. Like Royal was like a freshman, sophomore, like celebrity is more like a junior, senior level. Do you want to go like hang out in the air conditioning in our room? Do you like that? Talk dirty to me. <laughs> Don't tease me with a good time. Look at those. Don't threaten me with a good time. You look like a model now with your hair blown in the wind. Classy darling. She got used to it faster than I did. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. So good. Thank you for setting this to cold. All right, let's cool off a little bit, but then do our little room tour, unpack, and then go back out. Hello, and welcome to my celebrity villa. I don't know why I did it like that. Welcome to my celebrity villa, come on in. So this time we actually got an interior room because the rooms were actually a lot cheaper than the balconies. So I'll show you around massive interior room. First off, we're gonna start with the bathroom. So if you come in here, it's pretty well-sized bathroom, sink, toilet. They have a lot of, ooh, they have a lot of storage down here. A lot of storage right there, hair dryers in there, obviously a toilet, 
nice size shower you can get in it it's a lot of space like i'm not mad at it at all yeah that's pretty roomy so yeah that's the bathroom and next we come out into the living area we have a full-size mirror right here we have some storage in the closet it's not as like a big of a closet like you'll see on like a royal ship or anything like that but they actually gave us umbrellas i've never seen a cruise ship give us and these are celebrity branded umbrellas Shane was really excited about the umbrellas that's just like a like a nice little touch like yes on oasis you can get them at central park and all that but like they have umbrellas for you in your room that's just a nice little like premium perk yeah it is very nice i see we have some robes here robes. so we can wear these they're nice and soft do you want to feel it Oh wow, it actually is really soft. So we can wear that around the ship. We move over to the bed, king size bed. I'm not seeing outlets, honestly. Uh-oh, let's leave. Yeah, there's no like outlets even on the phone, but we do have a whole bunch of outlets like right here. I've even bought the power converter so we can use that too. So we have two outlets right here and then I can put the power converter right there. Then we have a TV, obviously. And then we have this like little lounge area, which is really nice for an interior room. We have a, a table and a chair. It's not bad. Like I can sit in that chair over there and I can just like watch you sleep because you sleep on this side of bed. But that's creepy. I can put my feet up like this. Her breathing pattern is kind of weird. Oh Maybe God. I should check on her a little bit. I'm turning this off. <laughs> oh, we also got to shake this. Duh. I missed it. Oh, wow. Look at the Tito. Okay. We have safes and then more storage. Yeah, these are definitely smaller drawers, but they'll do the job. There's more storage up here. So we have two up there too. Honestly though, Laura, for an interior room, I'm not upset. Like, yeah. I wish you knew where we were. It doesn't feel too small in here, which is really nice. Yeah. It's probably the nicest interior room that we've had. I agree. Sure. All right, so let's get changed and have some fun. Maybe unpack our suitcases. Really oh yeah, quickly. let's okay. Let's unpack our suitcases first, and then yeah. let's have some fun. Okay. Bags unpacked under the bed. Oh, the ship is like so rocky right now. Oh yeah, this is giving me Alaska I'm struggling vibes. Struggling right now. This is what I missed for so long. I don't think we've ever had a rockier sail away than this. At least in the Caribbean. Well, even in Alaska, it wasn't until like the next day. No, this is like getting to Alaska level right now. You guys can see the swells just like hitting the ship. You can't really tell, the camera doesn't do it justice of how big the swells are, but they're definitely breaking across the ship and really making the ship. It's making me feel like I had more shots than I did. Well, we can go, we can go even that out for you. Mm. I think you need another espresso martini. Let's go get one. I may agree with you on that. Come on. Okay, fine. Come on, let's go. So we are in a place called Craft Social Bar. It's kind of like a Playmakers, but more fancy. That's exactly what I was going to say. They have TVs over here, and then like more TVs back there. And they also have a little selection of like bites. A little pricier than Playmakers. A little more... Elegant? Yeah, thank Elegant. Elegant, thank you. I got a strong bow. Don't really want the beer. And Laura got a pineapple and vodka classic you know what i really love is that they have straws that are not paper i don't know if it's biodegradable or it what be. but that's a point in my book so look at the decor of this place wood it looks like they got expensive bottles of whiskey up there this is definitely like an upscale playmaker see this is what i miss this golden hour over here so gorgeous so beautiful right now. I think we stopped moving because of how rough it was. Compared to earlier, it's like nice and calm and quiet. Like there's no movies on, there's no kids running around. You look gorgeous in this light. I have seen significantly fewer children on this ship. I, I have too. Yeah, I agree. Laura, do you see this? Do you believe me now? This is it real grass? I believe so. It is. Yeah, it's real grass. Celebrity is built different. Let's just say that. Disney Dyson who? Let's go chill in one of these. So this is like actual grass with a TV. I'm loving this. This is really nice. It's really pretty. It doesn't feel like a cruise ship. I'm just gonna show you guys the sunset real quick and just give you the vibes of being on the ocean. Cause like right now, this is gorgeous and I'm loving it. So I wanna share the wealth. So please enjoy the next five seconds of this sunset on the water. One thing that I am noticing about this cruise in particular, this is our only celebrity cruise, but compared to like a Royal, a Carnival, a Margaritaville, there's a lot of seating up here. I feel like around every corner there's seats. 
and more seats. And then there's just some seats right there at a bench. And even like all the way back there, we just walked around and there's some like clutch seating around this whole ship. I think that because it's less of a focus on like the pool deck and more just like deck space. I mean, I think so. Cause like this is just more of like an atmospheric area instead of like trying to fill up as many people as they can on this. But it's a good use of the space as well. As of right now, I feel like celebrity is more of like a spa type of ship than like of like a family vacation. I feel like this is like a spa retreat right now that we're on and not actually a cruise ship that we're used to. Then where's my massage? There's no way they have a genital cleaning fountain right here. That is dope. I haven't seen one of those since Water Portugal. Bottle? No, to clean your genitals. What? Yeah, you lay down and you push the button and you spray your genitals. You're not putting that in the It's vlog. a European thing. No, it's not. You just made that up and you're freaking weird and you're not putting that in the vlog. But in reality, as you can see, it's kind of like to fill up the water, the buckets of water. <laughs> it's a genital cleaning device. You can't take me anywhere. I'm sorry. All right, do you want to get ready for dinner? Yes. Wow, look at you. This looks nice. I just zoomed in on your boobs by mistake. You look cute. Thank you. This is the hidden outfit from, um, not Home Depot, from uh, Old Navy. I've shopped at Old Navy before, but it's been a little while, but they're kind of on point recently. It's a little spin. Nice. Look at that. And Fane actually kind of picked this out. I have a good eye for good stuff. I've kind of been worried about celebrities' dress code because I've heard they're kind of like more, they're kind of fancier than a royal or a carnival. And I like to dress comfortable. I don't like to dress stuffy with like suits and all that for dinner. Like I like getting dressed up every so often and I do clean up nice. It's more of like, I like to be comfortable, especially like out after an excursion or something like that. So I'm wondering if it's okay if I'm going to rock my Air Max 97s and they'll let me in dinner. Hopefully they do. I think Jordan told us this, that as long as you have long pants on and a button up top, you should be okay. Okay. And that's what I have on right now. I'll keep you guys updated if we get banned from the main dining room. Thank you. It's been a while since we've been in the main dining room. You see anything you like? Yeah. Here's the menu for you guys. It's a sparkling wine. And then here's the starters. You can pause the screen if you see something you like to read more about it. But yeah, pretty good tonight. I think we're gonna do the chilled Thai coconut soup. And then probably maybe an escargot. A poor shrimp cocktail. I gotta do a shrimp cocktail for Kyle Palo. And then maybe a blue Long Island. You know the funny thing about this is that the menus are pretty much the same as they were on Royal. So like they're pretty familiar to us. Yeah, they have like the same uh, like classic. Section. It's nice, like if you go on a lot of Royal Caribbean cruise and you haven't been on a, a celebrity, you fit right in. But supposedly celebrity is supposed to be a lot higher quality. So, so we'll I'm see. excited for that. If it's as good as Portugal food, I'm gonna be in heaven. Laura's favorite time of dinner. It's bread time. Do you wanna go over what he just said these were? Cause I don't remember. I don't either. I know this one is unsalted butter. I heard garlic parmesan something. I think that's that one. And then this is a, like an onion. Just have to try them all. Thank you so much. Big shout out to Sir Kyle Palo. I got the shrimp cocktail because, I don't know, that's his thing. And I like shrimp cocktails as well. It's because he misses Kyle so much. I miss Kyle so much. Him and Casey, oh my gosh. We had that dinner like a month ago and like I've been dreaming about the next the next moment ever since. Oh. Pretty good. So that is the, the Thai coconut soup. It tastes really good. Just try it. See, this is what I have to deal with. Laura is always a smeller. And never, oh, come on, that is good. It's cold. It's supposed to be cold. You know that's good. I can't do cold soup, it's just, it feels really wrong. Not good soup? No, not good soup. Mm, that's my girlfriend right there. Gotta love it. And then here is my ravioli. It looks pretty good. I wish I had a couple pe more pieces. What did you get, Laura? Um, spaghetti bolognese. A plus. A plus? It's pretty good. And here are the desserts. We have a cheesecake, dolce leche, cherry trifle, apple al pie, creme brulee, ice cream sherbet, low fat grocery yogurt, no sugar added. I'm gonna do the peach cheese. I think I might go with the creme brulee. So dinner was pretty good, and I'm glad, like I was reassured that I didn't have to get dressed up, because a lot of people at dinner were not like dressed up, they just had like button up shirts and jeans yeah. and stuff like that. So it was nice to see that it wasn't so like formal. And now we're in shorts and a t-shirt. I'm in my PJs, to be honest. Yeah, I would give dinner like a six out of 10, probably. Like, it wasn't amazing, it didn't blow me away, but it wasn't bad either. It was okay. The spaghetti bolognese, though, was pretty top, top tier. I wish I would've got that. So Laura and I had the genius idea of coming back up to that grassy area and sit underneath the stars. There's an opening right there and just like listen to the waves. Yeah, and Fame's favorite movie is on Top one, Gun. One of my favorites. Plus, I think we can maybe take a pillow from one of those little cabanas, cabanas and yeah. then just lay down on the grass. Well, we got our own little spot. 
hanging out. The moon is up there, looking gorgeous as always. You guys can see the stars around, wow. But I think this would be a, a nice way to send off the vlog today. I think I would literally, if I had a pillow and a blanket, I could take a nice long... Tiger yeah. snooze? Yeah. Nice. We are laying in the grass in the middle of the ocean, watching a movie and looking at the stars. I don't think I ever thought I could say that in my whole entire life. Literally laying in the grass, looking at the stars, watching a movie. I just, what is life right now? I am so thankful and blessed that we were able to do stuff like this because I would have never thought in my wildest dreams that this little simple thing would be possible. All right guys, well, that is it for our first day on our very first celebrity cruise and the first video on our celebrity cruise series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been a fantastic day and we're so excited to be doing this with some friends on board. I've loved it so far, honestly. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and smash that like button. Yeah, and if you really, really like us, you can hit that join button down below to join our memberships for a few extra perks. All right, Laura, it is 10 or 5 a.m. We're still in bed, but we're gonna let fate decide what we do today. Mm -hmm. So no looking, but pick one of these and we can start our day. Time to get up, let's go to, I was gonna say the Windjammer, Ocean View Cafe, let's get some breakfast. What was the other option? Sleep in. Oh. <laughs> All right, time to get up. All right, let's see what the Ocean View Cafe has to offer. Do you know what you want yet? Definitely at least one croissant. Do you want a plain or a chocolate one? Plain all the way. You got more cards for me, plain or chocolate? <laughs> no, let's go, <laughs> let's just go get breakfast. A little washy washy, there we go. No one has said that to me on this cruise yet. This is not Royal Caribbean. I feel like they have a pretty wide variety of things and the food's been pretty good quality. Let me show you what I got. Of course, I got my croissant, got a hash brown, some extra crispy bacon, which I'm really happy about, another form of potato, and then some powdered eggs, which are surprisingly pretty good. So I got the eggs vanny, one smoked salmon, one classic, and of course some corned beef hash. And I'm about to down the spicy ass Diet Coke, hopefully spicy. You haven't had a Diet Coke this whole time. I'm Diet Coke and rum. Uh, I guess that counts. So now that breakfast is done, what's up Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today, we're kind of letting fate decide our day on this gorgeous sea day that we're on. I've been wanting to do this for ages, honestly. I think it's so much fun, and I'm excited to see where it takes us today. Who knows? Who knows, honestly. Hopefully not too expensive. <laughs> Okay, so since you picked early this morning, Laura, I guess it'll be my turn to decide what we do next. Sure, sure. Turn around. All right, pick your poison. What will he pick? What will he pick? This one looks shorter. I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, uh, come on. Are you kidding? Team. Why would you pick these choices? What was the other one? What was the other one? A pool taunt? Okay, but you don't like the pool that much, so it's fine. But I just ate. I hate working out on a full stomach. You know what? Whatever. You know what? I might need it. Ship shape, baby. Who knows? We can do it. I want to go to the... At least, I'd rather go to the pool than go work out right now. Maybe we can take a nap after. Ship shape, baby. <laughs> Only call out I have. Like, I'm already prepared to go to the pool. So we're going to have to go back to the room to change and all that. Yeah, that's a good thing our room is on the ship. All right, you sure you actually want to do this? Because it does not look fun. I'm absolutely not sure. All right, let's find a machine and then get our burn on, I guess, our sweat on. What are we going to start with? Let's start with the treadmill over there. I like that. Let's get to look out at the ocean. So we chose to do the ocean view treadmill. And I guess just start, and there we go. I need to crank it up just a hair. It's like you're using, learning to use a treadmill for the first time. I guess start? I have never felt less motivated than I do right now. Even though we're on a treadmill and we're working out, like this view, no matter where we are or what we're doing, it's amazing. Just to see the ocean, come on, you cannot beat this. I think out of all the places that we've gone to on Earth, like still the most beautiful place on Earth to me is the middle of the ocean. Like it doesn't matter where it's we go. Comfortable, not stranded on a cruise ship. I never get tired of this view. This is also a good representation of how fast I walk normally versus how fast Laura walks normally. I have short legs. I know. I can't keep up with you. Nope. Dust, yeah. So back when I was working out, like in high school and stuff, the biggest thing that I, like my biggest strength was like my shoulders and my arms. So I naturally gravitate to those. I did have strong legs, but at the same time, I just love to use the skin that pumps, but now I'm gonna do some shoulders. The shoulders are where it's like, where the money is for me. I'm gonna do light, 45. Not too heavy, it only goes up to 95. Oh, 
yeah. This reminds me of like the power cleans and push pulls and Olympic press and all that stuff. Oh, maybe not 45, I'm not there yet. Oh, someone had a two times multiplier on it. I was doing like 90 pounds. Oh, Laura's trying out the Peloton over here. How are you liking it so far? The seat's not as comfortable as Soul Cycle. Oh, yes, it's a pretty small seat. It hurts a little bit. But how's the workout though? I mean, that's a pretty big screen. It's good so far. My legs are burning right now. Nice job, keep it going. I think for the last thing I'm going to do, I'm probably going to do a rowing machine. I haven't done a rowing machine in forever, so I think I'm going to focus on this bad boy right here. At least to get a little burn, because these things can kick your butt. So how was that workout? I was actually really enjoying it, and then I kind of started to get a headache. Dehydration from last night? Yeah, and I, I need some caffeine, I think. Jeez. Woo! Oh my god. Is this what this is this is one way to cool down, right? If you guys didn't know, we're at, literally at the front of this ship right now. There's some loungers. If you're all sweaty and you want to cool down, this is one way to cool down. I feel like my mouth should be going like right now. <laughs> From all that rubbing, I need to sit down. Okay, Laura. Which one do you want? Top or bottom? Uh, the bottom mm. looks bigger, so that could be good, right? Mm, maybe. And it's making you nervous. Oh shh. Ooh, what does that mean? Um, buy something expensive. Under, I'm gonna say under like $400. I thought you were gonna pick that. Let's go get some diamonds. Don't you wanna play mini golf? Come on, let's play mini golf. I'm good with this option right here. Time to drop a bag. There's real grass here. If you're watching this video, there's a thing called thanks down below. So if you wanna donate to this channel to help the cause, I get lower. <laughs> Louis Vuitton, let's go to Louis Vuitton. You're sure, like you never, you've never done mini golf on real grass before. Bruh, you gave me an option and I picked. Do you really want something like this? Beautiful, pretty. I mean, that one's not bad. Can we up the budget a little bit? No, no thank you. Let's find something smaller. How about this scarf? I don't need a scarf. You look fabulous in it. It's too hot for scarves. I doubt that would be anything either. It's actually not as bad as I thought. It looks like I'm getting lucky on this one. <laughs> look at Kate Spade. Yeah, so I think they have some Kate Spade over here that might be more your style. How about this little wallet? Here we go. Look at that. Perfect. Get out of here. I already have a blue Kate Spade, but this is really pretty. Ooh, Laura, I like this. This Kate Spade right here, it's different. I've never seen it. <laughs> Bit much for me, honestly. I honestly think she should still get this lemon one just for like lemon drops, because it's so travel spray. Tell me why we went outside and got the air blown on us, but yet your boy is still kind of sweating right now. Did you find something you like? Yeah, and I'm under budget. What does that mean? It means I'm under budget and I have more money to spend. She just did the calculations for us. Let's see how much we have left. You said 400. Let's go and check out some perfume. You do have like really nice perfume, so if they have it here, I'm down for that. If they have my favorite, I'm gonna get that. All right, fragrance section. Do you see it? They have it. Which one is it? My Voce Viva. It's the best. Oh yeah, I recognize that bottle. It says 138 and in the package, it's, I think it's cheaper and you get a free gift. You guess you're in luck. Look at you. Oh, I like a lot of different perfumes, but the only one I've ever found that I've gone through like so many bottles of is Voce Viva. And, and I've everyone, got so many compliments. Your, that perfume to you is like what people say about my hair. Like yeah. I get so many compliments on my hair. What are you wearing? Exactly. It's the best. Have fun, Laura, with your new bag. All right, I'll see you later. Is that it? We're done for the video? Okay, see you later. All right, Laura, show us what you got. I got this lovely Kate Spade bag. She has a zipper in the front and a long strap that you can use. And inside, it's $1,000. Bet. I was like, that just paid off our cruise? Inside is an empty purse, but it has lights, lots of little pockets in there. And it's just like classic and timeless for me. That's why I chose it. Yeah, it looks nice. And then, of course, yeah, you guys saw that. This is Laura's favorite perfume. She gets compliments anytime she wears it. Best perfume I've ever had. You made out like, you really did make out on this one. Oh, such a, I'm so glad you wanted to do this. What's up guys, Editor Fane here. With all the excitement, I noticed that we forgot to say, if you guys are new here and enjoying the content or you wanna see some more content, make sure you hit that like button down below and also subscribe, come check it out. It's free and also you can always unsubscribe. So why, why not just try it out? This little, little trial period, see if you like it or not. No hard feelings. But if you really want to get intimate, go ahead and hit that little join button down there next to the like button and see what it's all about. But on all serious guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now back to the video. <laughs> Fame. What's up? It's your turn. You had a nice one. Did you get a good one for me? I think you'll like it. Okay. It depends. I don't know actually. 
You've been talking about wanting to try that. Seriously? Acupuncture? Yeah. I you don't like needles. You've been wanting to try it though. For what? I'm gonna get needles all stuck in my face. What was the other one? Are you kidding? Laura, why would I want to do that instead of booking a cruise? This day has sucked. Oh, no, it hasn't. It's been yeah, wonderful. You got, to, you got to buy a purse and, and all that stuff. You're I get acupuncture. Nice I have to work out. I want to do that again. Here, ask me again. Do a redo. No. <gasps> a cruise? Let's go. Stop. Maybe the ascent? Maybe November? I'm or so Or acupuncture of the seas. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not looking forward to this. You inject needles fall in the meridians so they're gonna regulate your organs and make your organs function back to normal or we say we boost them. When we do the treatment, your digestion will run faster. All right, my dude, how are you feeling? I'm a little nervous, honestly. So I don't like needles and I'm gonna get them stuck in my body. No, but if you're gonna have needles stuck in you anywhere, like this is a good little spot to do it. Like this is so serene in here. Yeah, we can like actually see like the ocean right here. As, as it goes by, I'm gonna lay in the bed. Okay, uh, yeah, that's not bad. Not bad, right? No. How you feeling? It's definitely weird, but it's not bad. Like, it doesn't hurt. You're a brave boy. You want to try it next? No. Does it, do it look like a porcupine? <laughs> do you want, do you want uh, a acute demo? I can put one needle on your elbow. Show yeah, go for it. Really? Okay. Bend, so you have more space here. See, it's not that bad, right? It's freaky though. Okay, there, so you can feel the needle is there, but still it's not bad. It's yeah. Not bad pain. Like oh my god, it's freaky. I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of weird. It wasn't bad. Oh, he did a test one on me, and I, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I can still think about it. Feel it. You know, I love you because I hate needles, and I stayed with you through the whole thing. Sixteen needles. In I stayed with you for like an hour in there. I am kind of weirded out by needles, but I am glad that I tried it, and and I think I'm gonna do it again. If you guys can see that clock down there, it is almost time for dinner. It's around six o'clock in the evening. We're enjoying this gorgeous sunset view. So I think it might be time to do another this or that. Fate chooses what we do for dinner tonight. I get to pick? Yeah, here are our choices. All right, Laura, you can turn around. Pick the right one. Pick the one that you want to pick. Stop it. Pick this bottom one. Look at that. Okay, now I know I should definitely pick the top one. <gasps> Specialty dining. We haven't done this one yet. Ooh, this is an expensive day for you. Are you sure? What was yeah. the other one? You don't want to do that? Oh, that would have been free. How do you have a knack for this? Like, how do you just know? I have expensive taste. Look at Laura. That is such a nice dress. You want to do a little spin or something? Very nice. It's too long. I keep stepping on it. And I see that you're accompanying your dress with your bag. I did. Look at that, that Kate Spade. Really, like it feels new, but it feels like a football to me. Like if I just bought like a brand new football. It is not like a football at all. It's soft and buttery. But yeah, that dress looks so nice. Thank you. It's from Lulu's. Like the gym equipment stuff? Lululemon? No. Oh. Just Lulu's, not Lululemon. This should be interesting. I'm excited. I hope the food is good. It sounds a little bit experimental for me. I don't really eat seafood, but I'm gonna give it a try. Is it all seafood? No, there's one quarter that has seafood. So the way this works is you guys can probably see this ring, obviously. And this is projection, that's why it's on my hand. And it comes from the ceiling. So throughout each different course we get, there's gonna be a show on the table and it's gonna entertain us while they get our food ready. It feels like a Disney thing or something. I think it'll be pretty cool. And here is the menu. You guys can see it's a very limited menu. And then on the other side, we can mix and match, he said, and possibly pick from this menu. If you're not able to eat any of that, you could probably get something from the main dining room and it'll do the same thing. I'm gonna get some chicken tenders and fries. And then don't forget about the grilled cheese that the crust cut off. Oh my gosh. I don't think we told them what this restaurant was. Oh, sorry guys. We're at um, Le Petit Chef. And it also has another name though, doesn't it? It's like Cuisine or something like that. Cuisine? Like cuisine? I don't know. But Le Petit Chef is what most people call it. Like, do you see how this ring? isn't ringing properly around the plate. I would want, I, it would bother me just to like have it perfect. I know, I moved mine a little bit and now I'm kind of paranoid. But you know what, King? We did not show off your outfit. Get up and do a little twirl. I have my Captain Planet shirt, as you can see, 
with all the Planet Tears on it. And then I have this basic jeans and then the Nike Air Max 97. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. Really comfortable and I'm glad that it's not like so stuffy. Like I'm glad I don't have to dress up in a suit and tie. That's just not me. And you look nice. Thank you. You do too. I wish I had like a matching wallet or something. Do you want to take me to get something expensive today? Mm. You can wait till Christmas. Oh, bet. I got my list ready. Look at this. Oh, at least you'll be able to make an interesting picture for your Instagram. Wow. Hashtag Petit Chat is so cute. Pay close attention. Lesson numero 1. Three words. History of food. In the 16th century, the Spanish conquistador Don Hernán Cortés arrived in the New World. When they sailed back to Europe, Cortés took tomato seeds with him. This is Finally, nuts. In the what do you think about this so far? So I didn't realize it was like the whole table. I thought it was just the table. Oh! What did you get? This is some kind of um, tomato tart, goat cheese, I think. And yeah, like the whole table. I think this is better than Wonderland. So far, it's, it's just a really, it's beautiful, honestly. I was watching Griff's video when he did Celebrity by himself. Well, him and Rose. And he was saying when he did it, he kept seeing like these little things out of the corner of his eye, just like moving. He wants to like, just, like smack them. They're actually just like the birds that are just flying around. Like this one, you just see it out of the corner of your eye and you think it's like a bug or something. Like, you would just like want to smack them. It's not whack-a-mole. Oh, your eyes look really nice in this. Wow. This next one looks like shrimp. Not sure what that is. Those look like fish eggs. Are you scared? I'm surprised you got the shrimp though. I mean, there wasn't really another good option for me, so. Could have got a Caesar salad. We're gonna give it a try. I didn't know that was an option. Mmm, cold shrimp. It's not that bad. It's not very fishy. I still can't get over the texture of shrimp though. Look at that. Mm. Oh wow, his eyes rolled back in his head. <laughs> I'm glad it's not like ice cold shrimp. It's yeah. Like room temperature. Immediately transported back into time. With a long vacation, I used to spend at a summer house in the middle of the forest. Wow. And this is where this, the origin story right here. He hurt his knee. He didn't want to play with his friends anymore. What? And he's helping his grandma strain out some soup. We just actually watched the little chef, little petite chef, make this meal. That's nuts. Like, him and his grandma just made this meal. And now we have it on our plate. Wow, that looks beautiful. It's a thick piece of meat. It's like three C's thick. I can't begin to tell you how tender this meat is right here. Like, I can just, like, peel it off just like that. And I have this nice, tender piece of beef. It's pretty good. The flavor's great, and it's very tender. And I don't think we mentioned this, but this is short ribs is what we're eating. Out of all the things you picked today, I'm glad you picked this specialty dining one. I'm glad we were able to get a reservation. The buffet would not be able to touch this. Oh my gosh, put the bag away. It's been a great day. We got a legit certificate of uh, being a super chef. They even like printed our names on it. Look at that, it's our graduation right now. And we got our diplomas. That's pretty cool. The last one, our friend Lila is gonna help us do this last one with Laura. All right, Laura. I think I did top last time. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> Thank you so much. And, and an amazing service from you. Thank you. All right, you ready to go to bed? <laughs> Honestly, that was like a 10 out of 10 for me out of like specialty dining that we tried. It's almost on the same level as like a Zumi. So 100% recommend La Petite Chef. I didn't go into it with high expectations to be honest. I looked at the menu beforehand and I was kind of disappointed, but I'm glad I tried some new things tonight and it was well worth it and so, so good. But we're about to wrap it up. As you saw, we're going to bed. We actually have an excursion tomorrow, so kind of glad we're going to bed early. What is up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today we are in the gorgeous country of Aruba. Aruba, the first of the ABCs. We have never been here before, but we are on a JJ Cruise excursion, so we're gonna check it out and see what is up with this awesome island. I've heard a lot of things about it. And honestly, I can already tell it's gonna be beautiful, especially when we're driving around the countryside. And we're gonna go swim in a uh, natural pool. Yeah, let's see. The water's supposed to be kind of choppy today, so we'll see if we're able to do that. But I'm ready. Let's go so we don't miss 
miss the Jeeps. Yeah, we're kind of behind. The beautiful Celebrity Equinox is right behind us. First time seeing land in 48 hours. Or I think you should put your hair tie, like you should put a hair tie on or something, put your hair up because your hair is going to be everywhere. It's going to be in one giant knot at the end of oh, the day. Oh, that was, uh, I guess we just have to shave your head then. Yeah. I'll go up to the salon. I mean, I can do it. You don't trust me? You cut my hair and dye my hair. I can do it for you. Um, not today. Maybe another time. If you didn't know, Aruba is known as the Windy Island. So it's just going to be straight up wind all day. And hopefully that's not a bad thing just because it's going to be hot today as well. So hopefully the wind kind of like kind of counterbalanced the humidity and the heat. I think we picked the wrong day to work out because my legs are burning Ooh. right now. That was quite the walk from the pier, so keep that in mind. Well, it may not have been if we had been one of these parking spaces. Yeah, Carnival and Royal got the prime spots. We kind of got parked in the back. I feel like that always happens to us. I want to say it's like a half mile walk. Yeah, so keep that in mind. Yep, get that sunscreen. No burning for you today, or at least a little bit. I'll still get burnt. Probably. Let's just make sure I don't turn into a flaming bright red boiled lobster. Oh, like a flaming Cheeto? Exactly. Like St. Martin? Did I do that in St. Martin? You got burned in St. Martin after our UTV tour. Oh, yeah. You guys, we had the most incredible day with Splash in the Sun tours. Jerry and Taz, thank you guys so much for having us. You might need to do the, the paste instead, or the, the, what is it called? The lotion. lotion. Yeah, you might need to do the lotion more because it's windy and you might get patches of sunscreen. I want a nice splotchy tan with big red like splotches. Oh okay I can help yeah, you with that. That's the new um the new thing. Got it that was on the Met Gala this year right? Yeah. Oh look at this this is what we're taking in. This is kind of reminds me of Porto a little bit. I'm so ready to get in one of these and just have the air just like the breeze just like, and no sun. I want my mouth to be like Ugh. we have a whole bunch of them well, not that one but <laughs> With that one down there as well. I think my 360 can work on this one. This is gonna be pretty cool, I'm excited. Look at that bus. It's kinda freaky. The happy party bus with the iguana on the side. I wouldn't mind that at all. It has officially started. Here we go. Yeah, we're all in the back of a Jeep. We got a sunroof going, got some air blowing. Feels a lot better today. There's a lot going on right now. Oh, this is cool though. Really cool view. I'm glad we're at the back. Look at this. Driving across out of traffic into our lane over there. Also, if you want to know what tour we're going on, we're going on the ABC tours of Aruba. And that's with all these nice colored Jeeps that we showed you earlier with the tiger print. Laura lost her hat. And he had to like get he grabbed it. Hero! Thank you! It got run over. It's okay. That is a memory. Yes. First stop of the day. Not really sure where we are, but they're gonna explain it to us real quick. But look at all these rocks. What do you think about your first, that first drive over here? It's been cool so far. Almost lost my hat. I was just gonna let it go. Exclusive travel spree. Yeah, that's vintage. I like spree. to be on. But guys, in the Caribbean, ABC is number one of one of the best tour companies there is in the Caribbean. Our first trip of the day is up these rock formations, up these stairs. We prepared for this. We trained for this in February, March, April. Ship shape, this one's for you. Oh, I just thought you don't want to just walk out there. You can you can just do it without having to quote ship shape. I'm just shape. saying because it's exercise. Yeah, there's quite a few bit of stairs to get to the top. Get those legs working. This is to earn my drinks later. Do it for the drinks. Here we go. These are like the steps in Porto where they're like all misshapen. Looks like we have to go inside the cave to get to the top. So we're learning that Aruba is a desert island. And like we see palm trees and all that, that's pretty much fake. And it's really windy. It's definitely a lot more brown than other Caribbean islands yeah. from what I'm seeing. It reminds me more of like St. Martin when it was kind of in a drought. Yeah, you can see like all these cacti all around because it is a very dry island. So he said if the, all the palm trees by the port, those are all fake. Fake. All the way in the distance, you can see our three cruise ships, Us Mariner, Horizon, and our ship, the Celebrity Equinox. But look how flat this island is. It's just straight up desert. So keep in mind when you do visit this island to probably wear like bring some sunglasses, maybe even like a bandana and cover your mouth because if you do the ATVs, you're going to get dusty. If I knew any better, I think I was in Arizona. Look at all these boulders. Now we're looking at how steep these stairs are to get down from the top. Come on guys, let's get it. Glutinous maximus. I'm glad we didn't have to walk up these ones because this is like, this will be a little hard. That's a steep one. Do you see that rock formation right there? 
Yeah. It kind of looks like an alligator's mouth, or like the basilisk head from Harry Potter. Is that the the dog? No. No, no, that's the, the snake. snake. Oh my god. No. Oh, okay, I'm bummed. Uh. The next L's and T's. L's and T's. I don't think he wants to smoke again. <laughs> but no, next stop, you just reapplied some sunscreen. I think you're good to go. I'm ready to explore the caves and find some bats and bears. And you don't know what you want to find in there, do you? I don't know what I'm going to find. But yeah, right now we are at the caves in Aruba. This is where some of the indigenous people hid when the Spaniards came to conquer, which kind of sucks. I think it's called Fontaine Cave. See it over there? Oh yeah, welcome to Fontaine Cave. And then look at these like tables and benches carved out of oh, stone. Oh snap, that is some artisan work. Oh, there's even more down there. I wonder how long That's that took. really me. I like that. You guys see that water out there? That's the ocean. They are saying that the line that you see in the rocks right there, it's where the water level used to be. And it's kind of formed all of this. Except for these branches, of course. Laura, this kind of reminds me of like crystal caves. Yeah, hopefully I don't slip and fall this time. Oh, please don't. There's a lot more people here. His name is Jordan, and he's the head of our group, one of the, one of the heads of our group. But he doesn't like to talk to anybody. You see, he's very disgusted with us right now. And these are local influencers in the wild, just taking photos of each other with the cave in the background. Hopefully this time, Laura does not slip and fall, because last time we were in a cave, she slipped and fell. I'm coordinated. Make sure if you fall, you grab onto somebody so they fall too. Okay, I'll grab onto the camera. Sounds good. Unlike the Bermuda caves, this one is a little bit warmer. I am melting right now. Same, look at me, your boy is a glistening right now. It is at least like a 95 degrees in here. I love this camera because this is how it looks to our eyes, but I can crank up the volume a little bit and you can see it's just like daylight. That's nuts. Did you see the Indian drawings over here? No, I didn't see it. Look at that. Guys. I've never seen that in person before. There's actually like a decent amount of them. They're all oh, over. I didn't even see those. That is so cool. So cool. Honestly, Laura, I think it is perfect that this is a windy, like a windy island just because of how hot it is. The boy is sweating, as you guys can see in my head. That was a hottie in that cave. I'm I feel like I jumped in a pool. I'm surprised, honestly, like none of this wind just flows right into that cave to like cool it there off. There is nothing. No airflow. No airflow at all. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. It's just like a free like <laughs> butt pedicure. I mean, fish <laughs> pedicure. That's really cool. If you come to Aruba, you can get this done for free. Yeah, Mexico, you have to pay for this. All right, take your forces off. Absolutely not. I'm not putting my feet back into wet socks. That would suck. There's some big fish in there too. They're getting my cuticles. What's up guys, Editor Fane here. With all the excitement, I noticed that we forgot to say, if you guys are new here and enjoying the content or you wanna see some more content, make sure you hit that like button down below and also subscribe, come check it out, it's free. And also, you can always unsubscribe, so why why not just try it out? Just a little, little trial period, see if you like it or not. No hard feelings. But if you really wanna get into it, go ahead and hit that little join button down there next to the like button and see what it's all about. But on all serious guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now back to the video. <laughs> this has been adventurous. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just trying to keep my head connected to my body. When they say it's bumpy, it's really bumpy. Like I almost flew, like we were out flying the drone. You guys saw the drone footage. And I was flying the drone and my seatbelt was loose and I literally went whoosh. And almost hit Laura right in the face with my- I thought we were gonna break each other's noses. Seriously. Right for, I was bracing for impact, waiting for it. Like, do you guys remember the time where like I almost flew off the, the raft in, where is it, Dominican Republic? Yeah. It was pretty much like that, but in this Jeep. <laughs> this has been really fun. No, no, no. I like you know everyone who breaks it. Jonathan Yeah, we're loving this. How's the sun for you? I have a feeling it's going to, I'm gonna regret things later. I don't think I put enough sunscreen on. Look at this view. 
if I see you now, speak on me that I'll bug with you. I'm a boss. You will work a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> So this is 50 to 60% of a river right here. What we can see from here. This is nuts. This is so gorgeous, especially during golden hour. It's reminding me of California a little bit. I can see that. It's like when we did Runyon, getting all of the pictures. <laughs> Look at this view. Wow, you can see the windmills out in the distance. Jeez, Aruba is pretty dope. It's gonna be shallow on the left side. Guys, remember this, shallow on the left side. So if you guys wanna sit down, enjoy the pool, you guys can go on the left side. Or can we talk about that ride that we just experienced? Like straight up? Wow. I feel violated. I know, it's like straight up bumpy. You know it's bumpy when Fane goes airborne. Seriously. <laughs> my big normally butt. pretty strong. Yeah. You can hold on, but he's literally boom. Well, we just rode down that. You guys probably saw the GoPro footage of it. It's It was fun. I'm thoroughly enjoying this one and I'm glad that we were able to do this. I like it. It's like a four hour roller coaster. I might say this is technically the best Aruba excursion ever. The, the best one? The only one? The only one we've, we've ever done. done. <laughs> yeah, this is the best one. What are we about to do now? So we're gonna go look, possibly get in the natural pool, but he did say there are quite a few steps to get down there. Like 90 steps. So I'm gonna take a look and see if I want to do it. I don't blame you. <laughs> Welcome to Kanji. And these are the steps that they were talking about that you have to like walk down. It's a pretty far walk to the beach. I think that's where everyone's going, but it is a lot of steps. We can check it out. I just don't know if I'm going to get in okay. to the water. I know we said this in the vlog, getting prepared for this cruise, but Aruba legit is straight up windy. <laughs> it's so windy. Like if you ever need a hairstyle, you're just not going to hold here. As soon as you go outside, it's going to get ruined. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but I don't think it's hair anymore. Looks like a, like a really bad weave, like a weave or something. I think it's alive. No it's curls here, there. but no. This place is amazing. It is gorgeous. It's just a tad bit windy and really dry. So make sure you always stay hydrated and make sure you have oh enough gosh. water with you. I've gone through so much water here and it still is not nearly enough. Oh no, I'm still thirsty and I'm almost done my whole bottle. Look at all of Laura's freckles. I love her freckles. All over her face. Is it dirt? You. My dad, when I was little, he yeah. thought these, he didn't know what freckles were really. Yeah. And he thought it was dirt. So he would sit there and try and rub them off when I was a baby. It's weird how gorgeous this looks because you're used to like blue water and green hills and all that you see in Hawaii but like even this is just straight up gorgeous. St. Thomas is still my favorite island like to visit but Aruba is like a cl very close second. This is definitely a place that we will be coming back to. Yeah but I want to fly here. Can you imagine the turbulence that you hit up when you're trying to fly out of here because it's so windy? Maybe I'll just come in on a cruise ship. So we were talking with some people that actually went down to the pool and they were saying that like that pool is area it feels nice it's cool water and everything like that but you need to have water shoes because they said it was like slippery and it's a lot of rocks like most of that down there isn't even sand it's rocks yeah or it was covered in rocks and pebbles and all that just get like some water shoes from uh amazon yes bring your water shoes and you will be happy later That was an extremely fun adventure. I highly recommend that. I don't know, it was just a lot of fun. It was nice to get away and see the island and, and um, experience all the sights and sounds of Aruba. Yeah, and we had the absolute best driver. Like, he had so much fun with us and he just made it like the most memorable experience. So, A plus on service. And then on top of that, we got to listen to Cardi B. <laughs> yeah, he took all our music requests. This is from my face. Yeah, that's the dirt. Like this is Laura's bad makeup job right here. Just like you can see the, no, it's the dirt, Laura. I know, but. But you can just, you like have my complexion now. That's really funny. Yeah, it's a really dusty, dusty excursion. That is nuts. <laughs> you know what, I had so much fun. I know we showed this earlier, but I'm gonna put the name of the company down here with a link in the description. I highly suggest you go check them out. We're not sponsored by them. We didn't like officially work with them or anything. We just really loved it. It is very bumpy. So just be for all mine. Cause I know a lot of excursions say, be careful cause it's not kind of bumpy. No, like this, this was like straight up, you're gonna get yeeted out of the car oh, if you don't yeah. have your seatbelt on. You have to have your seatbelt on. I'm very curious to see how my back feels tomorrow. Laura, do you see these colors right here of the clouds? Did it just rain or something? We only ever see that in Bermuda. Yeah, I love the like teal color combined with that soft orange. Yeah, it gives you a little pink. Yeah. I see why Aruba has like sunset cruises because those things must look gorgeous right now. I bet. Air conditioning's about to hit 
different. <laughs> That's the best thing about cruise ships sometimes. It's like when you're out in the heat and you hit that cruise ship air AC. You will never appreciate air conditioning more. Welcome back, Fox Earth, Alan. Oh, wow. Yes, please. Oh, it has ice. Celebrities on that Disney level with the cold oh. top and has ice on it. Wow. Thank you. Welcome back, Mom, sir. Cold Wow. We haven't had that since we were on the dream. Oh, it's going down my swimsuit. <laughs> Perfect. But look at your hair. You tried to look all nice and like gorgeous today with your hat on. And the hat was like, nope, not today. I don't look gorgeous. You always look gorgeous, but look at your hair. It looks like a lot right now. I like it. All right. You can do the honors and take the 24 off and put the 25 on. My pleasure. It's just... <laughs> Boom. Look at that. Hopefully by the end of the year, we'll be hitting 50. Thanks again to Stairroom Statements. Thank you so much. But for real though, after all that dirt, I need to take a shower because I feel really gross. So now we're going to get the GoPro out so we can take you guys along and show you our shower routine. But can I use a 360 instead and then use a 10 foot pole? Absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> Jeez, look at that hair. That's, that's what you should call Aruba hair. I've never seen you like that before. I am dreading brushing this out right now. It's gonna hurt so bad. Does water make it any better? No. Have fun with that. I guess you'll be in the bathroom forever. Maybe I'll just leave it like this. Well, I'm sorry. Wish me luck. Three hours later. Laura, I like how it's like a white party and everyone's wearing white. Like, like everybody's wearing white. And both of us are wearing black. That is, we missed a memo. Like everyone's a bride and I'm the bridesmaid. Like seriously, literally got my Bucky shirt on, my pant, my shorts. We we definitely. The slides are white. We definitely missed a memo. Alright guys, that is it for today. Aruba was very tiring and that party was pretty dope, but I'm so glad to be going to sleep now. We had so much fun though. This was a really good day. What is up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today we are trying something new, something that we haven't done in maybe since cruising started again. We are doing a actual cruise ship booked excursion. Yeah, because we don't ever do that. We got the lucky tickets right here. We're going to check out Curacao, do a little tour and stuff like that. But we know we don't do this. We always book our own excursions outside the cruise ship just because like you get it for a cheaper price, you get a better experience. That's just pretty, pretty much our experience since we started cruising again. But this time we honestly just wanted to just book something really quick and not think about it, yeah. so that's why we're doing this. But this is the Curacao Sightseeing and Mambo Beach excursion. I think they're gonna take us around on a bus. We're gonna see a lot of the island, have a little beach day, taste some blue Curacao. Yes, I'm excited I'm for that. Ready. We can get some real authentic blue Long Islands. Oh God. So yeah, I'm kind of excited. We haven't had to wait in one of these lines in so freaking long, and it's weird to see that so many so people. Bougie. I know. I think the last cruise ship excursion that we did was on the Mardi Gras. Laura had to work, but we did like the waterfalls and the monkeys with all the oh, other. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't there. <laughs> Honestly, we have not been in a tour this size in so, so long. Feels kind of weird, but who knows? Maybe we'll freaking love it. We're, we kind of just want to test the waters and see which one is better. Like your own booked excursion outside the cruise, or is the cruise excursion worth it? Paying that little bit extra money to be guaranteed to get back to the ship. Because honestly, we haven't had an issue, and hopefully we never do, of like a third party excursion getting us back to the ship in, on time. And who knows? Maybe a celebrity cruise excursion might be really great quality. Quality. That's true. Just want to let you know, Laura, we're probably never going to move to the Southern Caribbean because you would never be able to do your hair. No, these are these have been the windiest islands I've ever been to. I think like I it makes me want to chop all of my hair off. I mean, can I cut it? I asked no, you we're earlier. not having this conversation again. This is not, I mean, it is becoming hurricane season, but I know these islands don't get hurricanes. So it's just weird to see like so much choppy water all the time. The thing about this wind here is like it's not just coming in one direction. So like I could just stand in one direction and have my hair like blow that way you know yeah it's like swirling and coming all around so like i'm just trapped <laughs> can't even wear a hat like yesterday so it'll get blown off too. yeah exactly <laughs> all right here we go we are with fiesta tours loading up on the coach tour bus to be shuttled around like cattle around I'm really hoping for some air conditioning i mean there's enough breeze in here to be fine it's not too it, does, it actually feels less hot today but 
we'll see. Well, at least the benefit to this, Laura, is that we have our own seats. We can ride the back of the bus where all the cool kids ride. I was about to say, we're the cool kids in the back of the bus. I'm really not sure what this tour has in store for us. I know we're supposed to go to a beach and try some blue carousel. I don't know if we're supposed to get out or we're just driving by. Guess what, though? What? There's some air conditioning right above my head. I have my own personal air conditioning. You don't have to share with me anymore. Nope. As you're putting that on, it just, I noticed that you really didn't get sunburnt yesterday. I got some sun though. I also got this random like red streak right here. That is a little odd. And that's it. Wow, so this island is pretty, it's Dutch. And you can see like the Amsterdam reminiscence of the buildings of the West India Company. The West India Company. So I love that. It's slightly giving me Porto vibes with the giant bridge. We might not have been able to go to Amsterdam, but at least we can try to make it like that since we're in a Dutch island. We're basically in Amsterdam. Pretty much. I want to walk across that bridge. That's like a drawbridge that opens up when big ships come through. I was hoping we can get out and walk, but I guess not. At the end of the bridge, you see a small house. On top, you see an orange flag waving. Well, that means that if this bridge opens, it will open for 50 minutes. But if the flag on top is dark blue, that means that the bridge will open for 45 minutes or longer. Look at so that. For buildings. That looks so yeah, nice. They started building in a systematic way on small plots of land. Lord, it is the is, is that the bridge chicken. you're talking about? Yes. Saying, Come oh yeah, that's look like Porto. It's like a big bridge. So if, look at that. Beautiful. Far There's away our ship. And the horizon is with the all the red roofs. The capital of Curacao, connected to I think we're going over that bridge that you wanted to look at. We're going over it? I think so. Oh yeah. my god. Because the bridge opens about 30 times a day. I so want to go across that bridge. We saw it earlier, but I want to go across that bridge. The colorful buildings, I think it's actually opening. It looks like it's open. And the bridge is opening. Look, yeah, the bridge is because opening. Because there is a small vessel leaving the island. I 100% have to well, fly my drone like Canada. today. It's so gorgeous here. Well, this is a totally different experience than we had yesterday. <laughs> Literally polar opposite. Literally, air conditioning, big bus, windows. And that doesn't mean we didn't have fun. We had a blast yesterday, but. So much fun. This is definitely a nice contrast. Our first stop of the day is at the Blue Curacao factory where they make all the Blue Curacao, or at least invented it, I feel like. And we get to taste all the Blue Curacao. We're only here for a couple minutes, so we're probably gonna buy a bottle because that bottle looks gorgeous and say that we've been here. We're probably never gonna use it, to be honest with you. Guess what? What? We forgot towels. Oh, yeah. Awesome. We're supposed to go to the beach, too. <laughs> so can you um step on that for me so I can get a picture of you with really? your face and all? You know you want to. I'm just kidding, okay, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What have you been thinking about Curacao so far? Honestly, I really, I think it's like so, so beautiful. I think so too. I think they're doing a really good job with like all the colors and stuff. And it's if it's always breezy here, it's always nice. Cause it's supposed to be like, feels like 95 and it does not feel like 95 at all today. I think I'm liking it so much cause it, it's giving me those Dutch, like European vibes right now. Like, as I said before, it's not like a bad thing, but when we do our own stuff, we usually never have to wait in like long lines like this. It's usually smaller tours, but hopefully it's worth it. So maybe if we ever come back, hopefully we do, we can find like a private tour and come check this place out and like have like, or rent a car or something just so we can have a more private, intimate experience. Fly a tour probably would have been a good app to use for this. Oh yeah, that would have been good. This is what the official Curacao bottle looks like. And she was saying, if it doesn't say Curacao of Curacao, it is not the real Curacao bottle. Ooh. Or not real blue Curacao. Okay, I'm glad you heard that, because I couldn't. Yeah, it's like a pump going on, and there's just so many people in here. Yeah, it's harder to hear in the larger groups. Oh wow, they're bottling like little bottles of Curacao, I guess, but it's orange. I wonder why it's orange, Laura. Maybe it's a different flavor? She did say that the blue, like Curacao is made from oranges. Maybe it just wasn't done, finished, finished yet? This reminds me of like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, but it's Willy Wonka's Curacao. So, li liquor Curacao store. <laughs> and then they have a whole bunch of Curacao right here. I didn't know there was multiple colors. Probably gonna get a bottle of blue, blue Curacao though. Oh, they have three shots of the blue Curacao trip for sec. This, today's one is orange. I'm actually curious to see if it tastes any different. Those are tiny shots. And then we have another one right here and then a chocolate flavor right here. Laura's over here, double, triple fisting. Quadruple fisting. Oh, quadruple, we have four? Yeah. Oh yeah, you have one in your hand. Let me hold one, see what it tastes like. Okay, so not, we're not buying that one. 
I think this is the chocolate. <laughs> okay. It's stronger than I thought. All right. Here's the traditional curacao, I guess. I think the color. I think it's all the same, just the color's different. My throat's on fire. Three to the head. Ooh, I think that was the worst one. Ready? This is the regular one. <laughs> it tastes like orange, but it's like strong alcohol orange. Orange with poison in it. Do you want to buy one? I think I kind of want to buy one just because of the color blue. Do you blue. really? Yeah. Or should we get one of these like mini ones? A little tasting set. Is it $25? That's not bad. I kind of want one of these bottles though. Should we get a smaller one? Oh uh, yeah, let's get a smaller one because we're I probably not going to use it. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know about you, but this is not my favorite tour so far. It was just like a straight up express pass. Go in, get out type of thing. So far, it doesn't seem like something where you can go and like spend a lot of time in the stops, but you've only been to one stop, but I would have loved to spend a little more time here. Yeah, I didn't like, I did not know what she was saying and we we're just yeah. like all right see you later we're definitely hurried from each spot to the next so that was a little disappointing but i am excited that we get to get back on the air conditioned bus that is true and we did we ultimately accomplished what i wanted to do was actually get a bottle of blue curacao from curacao so i can't be too upset we have to give it up when we get back on the ship i forgot what's up guys editor fane here with all the excitement i noticed that we forgot to say if you guys are new here and enjoying the content or you want to see some more content make sure you hit that like button down below and also subscribe come check it out it's free and also you can always unsubscribe so why why not just try it out this little little trial period see if you like it or not no hard feelings but if you really want to get intimate go ahead and hit that little join button down there next to the like button and see what it's all about but on all serious guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video now back to the video <laughs> these houses are so nice it kind of reminds me like puerto rico or something like that should we get a house here i was about to say like i want to come like stay here and rent like an airbnb in this area right here look at that house so pretty So we finally made it to our second and last stop of the day. It's Mambo Beach, one of the most popular beaches, if not the po most popular beach in Curacao. It seems really relaxing here. I actually really like this vibe right now. Yeah, it's, it's very quiet. I'm glad. It's a little, it was a little shocking because of so many chairs, but we have our own beach. Yeah, it's private. It's a reserved area with the tour, which is really, really lovely. Yep, they got us reserved chairs out in front and they also welcomed us with some drinks. Let's give it a taste test. tastes like juice. I'm actually really surprised about this because they did not, like in the thing, it didn't it said we had to rent our own chairs, but they provided them for us, so yeah. that's good. That was a very, very nice surprise. This reminds me a lot of Mr. Sancho's, just cause like it seems like a beach resort with the palm trees and everything. Too bad all the food is not included. That would have been the icing on the cake right there. I mean, we did get a drink as we showed you guys earlier, but it would have been nice to have like a free, like all inclusive menu and stuff. I really don't think there's alcohol in this. <laughs> I don't think so either. <laughs> uh, this is feeling pretty nice, nice and cool water. I love when the water is cool, even like a little bit too chilly. It's just so refreshing. Yeah. There's nothing worse than like bath water. Especially when you're trying to like, like cool off. I agree. And it's very calm over here because we have all the rocks breaking the waves. True. Yeah, because out there it is really choppy. I don't know if you can see the caps on the water, but. Oh, just like a sweet Long Island? Yeah, 
these are straight up American tourist chairs. Look how wide this is. My hand is like a like a third, maybe not even a third, like an eighth of this chair. Holy crap. I've never seen a chair so wide before in my life. Is it comfortable at least? Yeah, it is. It's pretty comfy. I wish the bike seats at, in Alaska were those wide. That would be You're onto something with that. All right, cheers. So I got a blue Hawaiian with the Curacao from Curacao. What did you get? Mine's a blue moon. And I know it has Curacao in it somewhere, but I don't really know what else is in it. Like, did you know it was a drink or you thought it was a beer? No, I knew it was a drink. I don't, it's weird how they call it blue moon, but yeah. I mean, I guess it kind of could be like a blue moon, but it's more purple. But I definitely thought you ordered a beer and I was like, oh, okay. No. Drinks here have been so pretty though. We also splurged on some Cajun chicken wraps and a chicken quesadilla. And we're just gonna hang out by, I was gonna say by the pool. And we're just gonna hang out and enjoy this time while we have it, listen to the waves and drinking some drinks. It's almost time to go back to the ship actually, so we gotta eat fast. Cat lady doing her thing again. She found another island cat. happy. Is your day a lot better now? Yes. Did this make this whole excursion like 20 times better? Absolutely. <laughs> so we're pretty much done with our excursion. We're heading back to the ship now to get back on board. We're heading back to the bus to go back to the ship. If I didn't have Laura, where would I be? Like seriously. <laughs> I taught you how to speak. So what do you think about that excursion? Um, it was nice, but I think it's definitely more for like first time cruisers or newer cruisers. I don't think it's necessarily something that we would do again. No. Maybe in a smaller tour group. It wasn't a bad tour at all. And it is for the right person, but for us personally, we probably would never do that tour again. Just because it was like slow paced. We stayed on the bus the whole time. She was very knowledgeable, but at the same time, like that's not what we look for. And it was a lot of people. The service was pretty good though. And our tour guide yeah. seemed to know what she was doing. Like, so overall it was a solid tour. Yeah, overall for a tour, I would say it's like eight out of 10, nine out of 10. It's just not kind of what we particularly enjoy. Let us know in the comments down below if you guys prefer doing cruise ship tours or you actually book th through third parties like Viator or Airbnb or something like that when you come to like your destinations. And here's where we drove by earlier. It's gorgeous, more gorgeous in person like, now that you can like stare at it and stuff. Yeah. I love these colorful buildings. Fun fact that the lady told us on our tour, the governor a long, long time ago claimed that he was having like migraines and headaches and all that stuff from like all the buildings and stuff because they're all white, limestone, coral, all that stuff. Just pure white, so it's like super bright. He wrote in a law saying that each resident of this island has to paint their house like blue, yellow, and red, I believe it is. If I'm wrong, leave it down below. But it's a certain amount of colors, and it comes to find out he owned a paint company, and so he just kind of like just profited. Cause he made, he signed that law that everyone has to paint their colors, those specific colors. Yeah, and they found that out after he passed away. It's always a hustle. Got off scot-free. Here we go. This is dope. This is like a really photogenic bridge. Mm -hmm. So right now we are actually on that floating bridge. So like when a ship or something comes through here from the ocean or in the harbor, this bridge will swing open to allow the ship to pass through. Here are some of the pontoons that this bridge floats on. They're like little boats that go all the way down. You officially ready to go back to the ship? Yep, definitely ready to shower. <laughs> Go to dinner. Have you checked the menu today? Do you know if it's a good one? Um, no, but I do know it's German night in the buffet, so we might have to check that out for sure. Oh, and by the way, I believe this bridge is called the Queen Emma Bridge. So if you guys, anyone's curious to see, like, look it up and stuff, that's what it's called. Well, you guys, we came back from that excursion, got some dinner, and then passed out. <laughs> that Curacao heat is no joke. But overall, we had a fantastic day, and we will absolutely be back in Curacao. What is up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today we are doing something we've never done before. Also, we're in the country of Bonaire. Like, I've never been here. I know Laura's never been here, but what are we doing today? Today we are getting on a sailboat and it is all inclusive. So we're doing drinks, yes, food sir. throughout the day. It's gonna be a turn up day. And this is with Solo Bond Sailing. Do you think they're gonna play Cardi B for us? I mean, I would hope, well, at the very least. The least that we can ask. <laughs> all right, let's get on board this gorgeous vessel and check out what Bonaire has offer. I'm so excited. If we are on Look sale, at that. Thank you. Uh, please thank go, you. if you want to go to the front or go anywhere. Cheers. To. Cheers. Cheers. So the same. Let's get this party started. Woo! There we go. Below deck. Oh, oh too much below deck. Yes. Looks like we're getting ready to go. 
and Spain officially has his massive pole out. And yes, that is what she said. Almost as tall as the sail. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that's that one. It's called Tiamo Beach, Beach of Love in Papimento. Uh, it's the most nice beach, I think, because okay. you can see the sun go down over there. Okay. Thinking wow. it's not this really a beach is so because it's not like relaxing sand. Sure, and beautiful. Yeah. It is. You can sit on it. I love being this a, close oh, to the water. The death coral, but it's a beach. It's Hi, I'm Laura. This is my second drink of the day. <laughs> Starting the day off with my morning rum and coke. We got a little bit of food. What have you thought so far? I'm really enjoying it. That's I might great. fall asleep, to be honest. What? It's very calm. Yeah. I was thinking it's going to be like a turn up, like party boat, but it's I not. Know. It's Maybe. a nice, like, relaxing waves, everything. I think we will stop at some point and have a little, little dip in the sea. And I'm just like really tired from last night. So like my energy is a little low. You need some rum and diet Coke. I really do. I haven't drank, I haven't drinking anything yet. Come on, you got to catch up. Everyone's on like their sixth drink. Hi, my name is Fane and this is my first drink of the day. The mini beer. Chug, chug. <laughs> Cheers. We're going right. Gabby, go Joe's steering right. the boat. We got Yeehaw, baby. <laughs> Captain oh Joe. Oh my God, we're, we're steering. We're steering too much. <laughs> Can you drink and drive? Because this is a bad idea. Joe, watch out. <laughs> oh, I should probably look up, right? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. See those giant dunes over there? That's salt from the ocean. So we can take all the tequila shots we want. We're going to attempt to land the drone on the boat. I don't know about this. Come on. Oh. Uh, what a bitch. What a bitch. No! Nice. Wow. <laughs> that was under control. This experience right here is nuts. The fact that we're just like chilling on a yacht or a sailboat in the middle of the ocean <laughs> is just pretty dope. This feels so good. I Amazing. agree. We're about to go jump on the ocean and they put some like floaties out there for us that are still attached to the ship so we don't drift off. And we have our speaker playing. You guys probably hear that in the background. But look at this watercolor right now. So nice, so blue. You gonna jump in? Do a backflip? No. Do probably a cartwheel into the ocean. Do a cartwheel into the ocean. There we go. This is gonna be so much fun. You can see Laura right there just chilling with a beer in her hand. Joe has a beer in his hand. This is pretty fun. Very cooling, very relaxing. Gabby's over there struggling real quick. But no, this is so much fun. And I have um, 2000s hip hop on the radio, on the speaker. So this is like the chillest day we've ever had. Would you guys ever do something like this? Let us know in the comments down below. Two hours later. Look at all these nice houses. Wow, I would love to live there. How have you been liking this? This has been so incredible. Honestly, just like the perfect day yeah. and so like relaxing, but also- You got also your wine in your hand? Like a little turn up, but a relaxing turn up, you know? A classy rosé turn up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gabby. Thank you for joining my yacht this weekend. Um, we're based in Silicon Valley. We're entrepreneurs in big tech. And we brought all of our friends here to the beautiful island of Bonaire. Me and my best bitches. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys have not seen Below Deck, that's what she was pretty much mimicking. <laughs> we're, it feels like we're on like a yacht in the Mediterranean, just living our best lives. Actually, we're gonna be in Amalfi next weekend. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm feeling fantastic, baby. That's good. Look at that view of the cruise ship just F &Ds, right there. F&Ds, baby. Oh. F&Ds. F and Where's your mic? F&Ds. 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 I'm just turning into your tits. Sorry. <laughs> Highly recommend. And then this is just another reason why we choose not to do the cruise ship excursions and do like third party things. Because one, it supports local business, but at the same time, you get a more unique personal or private experience than just being pretty much herded like cattle into a tour bus to be driven around. I don't know, it's just more fun. Look how close we are to the water right there. Wow. This side, not so much. But this side, would this freak anybody out? This is level right oh here. Oh my God. That is nuts how much we're leaning over or healing over. Thank you for bringing some Caprice for us. You're welcome. You're Can I have another one? Yeah. 
Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that. Oh, so Snacks, drinks, everything right now. We're living our best lives. Best service. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. That's a bit, that scares me. I'm over here like, I need to hook my feet oh, down. I don't know about that. Holy crap. I don't know. I don't know about this light. I could just see us like, Seriously, over. and he came bounding over. <laughs> Dogs were across the boat, and as soon as they saw me, they came bounding over. And I just made it into the front door in time. So right now, they are about to set the sails on the other side, just to catch the wind so we can turn into port. So you guys can see the sails are right here. So they're telling us all to lay down so the sail can come across the other side and so we don't get hurt. Wow. And now we're catching wind from the other side. Thank you so much. This was an amazing trip. Please check out Sullivan Sailing. They were fantastic. We got these two right here, the best team. So check them out. <laughs> you wanna go get a burger at the Master Ooh, Grill? Oh yes, that sounds really good. Do you see some bacon? I don't know, I kinda just wanna go sit in air conditioner and drink some cold water. We can do that too. How was the actual tour itself? The tour itself was great. I do kind of feel like we didn't really get to see any of Bonaire, Bonaire yeah. but it was still beautiful and I would definitely do something like that again. Same here. It is a hot one. I didn't think Bonaire would be this hot, but it is like closer to the equator. Let's go on and get that mass grill burger that you were just talking about with some juicy bacon. Literally like the best thing on earth. Definitely after a cold day. Can use a towel. Thank you. I don't think there will be quite as much dirt on me this time. I don't think so either. Let's find out. Oh, there's a little dirt. You smell that? Yeah. Oh, that was really too close. Sorry. It smells like cheeseburger. Let's go smash some burgers at the Mass Grill. If you guys are wondering where the Mass Grill is on the Equinox, it's the pool's right here. You come up these stairs. And the Mass Grill is right there. And it specializes in burgers and hot dogs and fries and everything like that. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Yes, please. Of course, you got to get some bacon for it as well. I'm so happy. Look at that burger. Bam. Oh, I'm about to bust this thing wide open. <laughs> also, they had orangini at the buffet. The buffet food has been so freaking good on this ship. We've eaten in the buffet the most times out of any other cruise we've been to. Like we actually want to go eat in the buffet. That does look really good. We have a specialty dining restaurant tonight and I can't wait for that. What's up guys, Editor Fane here. With all the excitement, I noticed that we forgot to say, if you guys are new here and you're enjoying the content or you want to see some more content, make sure you hit that like button down below and also subscribe, come check it out. It's free and also you can always unsubscribe. So why, why not just try it out? This little, little travel piece. It, see if you like it or not. No hard feelings. But if you really want to get into it, go ahead and hit that little join button down there next to the like button and see what it's all about. But on all serious guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now back to the video. <laughs> Three hours later. It's really funny how a celebrity does their drink prices. Because look at this. We have the classic drink package that covers up to $10 and all these cocktails are $11. I feel like at each bar, there needs to be at least one $10 option. Yeah, like at least, no, like a whole category. Like these are classics and this is regular. If I didn't want to pay extra, I would literally could not drink in this bar. It's one dollar, but it's still a little It annoying. adds up. It really does. Even though it is a dollar extra, technically it is still cheaper than upgrading to the premiums. We can have a hundred drinks each and will still be less than upgrading or purchasing the premium drink package. So I still think it's worth it. It's just kind of annoying that they kind of make it one or two dollars more. One thing that celebrity does not skimp on is the pours in their drink. Yeah, they're super heavy handed here. 
Oh yeah, almost every drink we've gotten has been a heavy pour, right? I love it. It's like we're in the adult class. We don't have to like skimp on alcohol. And the funny thing is like you said, this this little thing right here, it has like a lot of alcohol in it, which is weird. It is nice that they kind of like hook you up every drink. It just makes it, I don't know, it just makes it more enjoyable. And like you feel like you're getting like quality versus like them trying to skimp on alcohol. And we also got little bar eats. I've never had bar eats on a cruise ship before. He specifically said snacky snacky. Like I actually really appreciate it. It's like a nice little touch. Yeah, we don't have washi washi on this cruise, but we have snacky snacky. Sna I'd rather take snacky snacky over washi washi any day. Here we go, our next specialty dining at Tuscan Grill. I have a feeling this is gonna be my favorite. This place is nice, we got a good seat. This is probably one of the best seats we've had on a cruise ship. For, for real, I literally can feel the propellers going. The nice thing about Tuscan Grill is that if you're two, all of the two tables are next to the window. Yeah, you get the hookup. And so this is what we're by. We have a shot of the wake, literally just chilling. I love that. And here is the menu for Tuscan Grill. You guys can pause whenever you want to if you want to read what these are all about. A lot of these look really good, and I feel like I'm going to be overstuffed by the end of it. I don't know. Maybe we should just go straight to bed. I know, but we got to turn up tonight. Why did we pick Italian night to turn up? <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. Do you see anything you like? I was just about to say they actually have one, two, three, four, five options for $10. On oh, the for cocktail. the drinks? We're getting fresh basil cut at our table. Those are cool scissors. Wow. Extra virgin olive oil. This is classy. This is my love language. Laura, I've never seen anyone cut fresh basil before. And I think the scissors, it was like one handle, but it had like five blades. It was yeah. so weird. I've never seen anything like that. But this is such a freaking nice touch. I'm so happy right now. Like honest, like dead ass, I am not a fan. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even messing with you. I am not a fan. Add salt and pepper to it. All right, I added the salt and the pepper, and it's still not good. Get out. What it is, is it felt like, because it was fresh, it felt like I just pulled that from like a bush or something and cut it open. Like there's like this twang to it. Like it tastes too natural. Uncultured swine. For real, it tastes like it's like a poisonous bush. I don't know, it's like when you eat a berry off a tree or a bush when you were younger as a kid. And it's had like that poison taste. It had, that little, it had like a little tinge of poison. Poison at, like at the end. Let us know down below. Is it poisonous bush or is it fresh? Well, yeah, it's fresh, obviously, Laura. But I'm saying, like, it's just something in it that is like, my palate's like, no, thank you. I'll eat it for you. Go for it. Here you go. What did you get? I got balls of meat. Nice. And I got a lump of meat. What is it, crab cake? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's a crab cake. Aww. I was hoping it wasn't seafood because it looks really good. I'm trying to get stuff that you won't want to try so I can eat it all myself. As long as you get seafood, you're safe. Cool. So I am a pescatarian now. Our mains have arrived. I got the Bianco pizza or flatbread. When I ordered this, she actually told me this is not a main meal. I would order some more, but we're trying to go out tonight. So that would not be very smart of me. I also got a little side dish of cacio e pepe. Cacio e pepe. Fane, I believe, got the branzino. I got the snapper. Snapper. And he also got a side of the cacio. Finally on to desserts, and here are the desserts and coffee, if you guys are interested. Something I find funny that keeps following us everywhere we go, Porto. We were just there. Do you want to get some port wine? I did get a little bit last night, but I think I'm good tonight. It's not the kind that I like, but it is really cool to like, I feel like we're noticing that now and it's probably always been on menus. Yeah, but now we're classy, so we know what to look for. We're educated. Educated. For those of you who want to know how that went, I'd give it a six out of 10. Like it wasn't my best experience, but it wasn't bad. I'd give it a six and a half. I probably should have tried more unique things. I basically got like- Flatbread. Yeah, <laughs> basically cheese and butter. Probably wouldn't do that one again, to be honest with you. Not because it's like really bad, but more because it's just not my cup of tea. We finally made it to a show. Jared and Jordan said it's supposed to be really good. So I have high expectations. And they got us front row seats to what's going on. sign language interpreter right there. I've never seen that on a cruise ship.
Wow, look at that. What do you think about that show? That was our first celebrity show ever. The production quality was very high. I think I have a short attention span, so it's a little difficult for me sometimes, but I was really into like all the acrobatics. I think that's like my favorite part. And there was a lot of pop songs too. But it was a very unique concept. You think we'll go see another one? I think we'll see one more show in the theater, but I'm a little full, I'm a little tired. It wasn't the move when we, right after we ate dinner. So I like it's better to go to a show and then dinner as yeah. opposed to dinner and then a show. Maybe we should try that next time. Thank you so much for joining us on our amazing Asian and Bonaire and Tustin Grill specialty dinner tonight. Today has been a lot. I am tired. The sun beat the crap out of me. You know what's really cool though is what? we just added three new countries to our list. That is true. Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao. Thank you for not calling it Caraco. What's up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today is our last day Tears. on the Celebrity Equinox. For real. I thought this was gonna go by slower, but it kind of went up faster, honestly. Like once we hit the islands, it was like over. Yeah, we did a little island hopping and then it felt like the cruise was over. We got, came back to the room last night with these. So you know what that means. It's always the worst thing to see, your eviction notice. We have a lot of things on the ship we haven't done yet. We're gonna go check out the Solarium. JJ is having a gr whole group photo and like a live stream thing. So we're gonna go check that out. We gotta go check out the library, get some gelato and just hang out and just enjoy our last day. And then we have glass blowing and what is it? Glass blowing and then like the French restaurant here. <sighs> So I am excited about that. Oh, you're licking your lips over there? Ooh. Mm, glass blowing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a good way to cap off the last day of the cruise. So we're in the solarium right now, just hanging out. Everyone's getting ready for the group photo. And one thing I did not know the solarium had, other than AC on, which is really nice, is like food like this. These are apple oatmeal cookies, peach mousse. That sounds so good. I might have to get this one. And it's just like grab and go. And they have like breadsticks and all that. And even like a health like juice bar over there. The only thing that is odd about the solarium is no like regular bar. Like they're trying to be like a healthier solarium. <laughs> This is what I have to look forward to on a group cruise. Am I ready for this? I don't know. There's so many people. Like everything is fun, but at the same time, it's very, they're doing a lot of organization and I don't know if I can handle that. Just finished up our massive group photo. It was really funny because we all gathered on the stairs right in front of the elevator. So anytime yeah. the elevator opened up, it was just like this chorus of people saying, hi. It reminded me of that um, video, the sorority where all the girls were like yes. clapping and the door opens. Yes, literally. Very traumatizing. We've been waiting for you all summer and we're so glad you're finally here. But there is some really yummy looking food in the solarium, so I think I'm gonna make a little plate before I do anything else. I agree, I think so. Texas Repito also said get a smoothie because they're really good here too. And it's weird how that worked out because just as I was about to get up and get one, your boy Texas Pepito came over and was like, yo, I got you, my dude. Got you. What type What type did you get? The antioxidant. It comes with like a bunch of berries yeah. and um, coconut milk. It's pretty good. I'll, I'll try one. Let's Thank you, sir. No problem. Cheers, my dude. Cheers. Laura, we've been sleeping on this. This is so good. Thank you. You're welcome. Good looking out. We gotta we gotta cleanse before the drink tonight. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> have to recover. We've been on here for eight days and we have yet to check this out. So I grabbed a few things from the little food bar that's right over here. And this is like a little pesto pasta salad, I believe. From here, it looks like you just got like a plate of like iceberg lettuce <laughs> and three tomatoes. <laughs> These are like cold noodles and I just had one and it's Freaking amazing, slightly spicy. And then a little um, caprese salad. Oh my God, these noodles are so good. Nice and spicy. Mm. Wow, you need to try this. Should I take one of my hand? Sure. You want a lady and tramp it? I just want to say, that you just witnessed something that we've never done before on the camera. <laughs> yeah. What, the noodle? <laughs> That's an exclusive right there for you. <laughs> I 
They should remember me forever. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, now that we got something to eat, even though they tell us not to swim 30 minutes after we eat, let's get in the pool and relax. Hopefully the pool water is actually cold and not kind of warm. I honestly kind of regret eating all that, but it was just too good. One of the benefits to this cruise is it's only three feet and 11 inches, so pretty much four feet. I can stand. And then also, there's steps, like ramp steps. <laughs> and lead down into the water so it makes it easy for people to get in and out. Should we do our routine? What's your routine? Synchronized swimming routine. I don't know, what is it? We practice this. Oh, that? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> this pool is not that bad. I don't mind it at all. It is a little warm and I wish it was a little deeper like the one on Disney, but it's still pretty nice. It is pretty warm. Yeah. It's not refreshing, but at least it's cold in the solarium. Laura wants to hold me like I do to Jared in the pool. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> That's what I call service. I think it's really embarrassing. I like move a few inches over to the right. Yeah, it's like don't walk down there. Just stay right there. stay in our little bubble. Just take you walking around the pool. Fun fact that I learned. You know when your fingers get pruny like this? It doesn't mean like you're like need to get out of the water. It's just your body adapting to the, the conditions you're in right now. And actually the pruniness of your fingers help you grip on the things better underwater. I never knew that. I thought that was the coolest one of the coolest things. We're out of the pool, off to get a drink. First drink of the day, the last first drink. You guys are curious to see what the Lido deck looks like on a sea day. This is, it's kind of busy. So if you ever want to come on a celebrity cruise, this is what you can expect. Look at that, I can see my Miami Vice. Look at that pour on the top. What is that on the top? I hope that's not rum. Definitely rum. Look at that. She's gorgeous, darling. She's gorgeous. I think Fane got some rum with a side of strawberry daiquiri and pina colada. Hi, I'm Laura. This is my first drink of the day. Hi, my name is Fane, and this is my first drink of the day. Honestly, I kind of feel that pina colada a little bit. I mean, you didn't pour all of it out like I did. That's true. Also, one of the best feelings in the world, when the elevator comes and there's no one in here, we got our own personal oasis until we have to go down one floor and someone gets on. You can do a cartwheel. So if we didn't tell you guys, our diamond status from Royal Caribbean transferred over to Celebrity and we got elite status. And with elite status, you get some perks. And one of the perks is getting some gelato for like a free scoop of gelato. Yeah, it's one scoop per trip, I believe. But we've heard it's supposed to be really good, but I'm honestly just glad it's free. So let's go try some gelato, see what they have. And hopefully they have like banana or something like that. That would be perfection. Here are the current prices for the gelato on the cruise ship. So I think we're just gonna get like a cup or so. Do you see any flavors that you like? I think I'm gonna go with the blueberry. Ooh, they have pistachio. I hope it's as good as the one that was in Portugal. Here are the flavors if you guys are interested. Blackberry, coffee, blueberry, lime, hazelnut, pistachio, vanilla, caramel, and chocolate. And then they also make their own waffle cones in house. So those are fresh. Thank you. That looks really good. Is it worth it? Um, sorry, I'm gonna have to say no. The flavor's good, the texture is actually a little bit like icy. Maybe I got the wrong flavor. Yeah, try that one. Okay. Mine's better? I got the wrong flavor. <laughs> yeah, Cause I was like, that's really good. Damn it. This is good, you wanna trade? All right, so now that we have gotten our gelato, before we do our glass blowing time, let's just go back to room and chill for like an hour or two and then come back out and go to our glass blowing class. I can even put a movie on if you want. Nap time is my favorite time of the day. Okay, let's do that then. Let's go head back to room, chill, and then head out to glass blowing and make some dope stuff. That sounds literally amazing. Two hours later. I have been looking forward to this the whole trip. Even before the trip, I was like, yo, I gotta do this. I've been wanting to do this since I was like five years old, looking at the people doing it as tourists in Bermuda. So you've never done this at all? I've always seen it. I've just never done it before. I did it like every day as a kid. Oh, wow. No wonder your hands look like that. <laughs> I have never done this either. So we have a choice of different things that we can make for the included price, which is 120. Or we can make bigger ones. As you can see, these are a little bit more. I really want to make this bowl, so I might do the 150. Lower chill is to do the tumbler and her discovered. Oh, look at that. Okay, so hands light, mine and behind mine, kind of on top and underneath, that's it. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll nice and slowly 
just in our pink, okay? Just, so the iron side would be the top of the piece, okay. and then the end would be the bottom, okay? So we kind of do everything back to front, and then we'll get the very end with the blue, okay? Here are all the colors you can choose from to put into your glass. Okay, so we're gonna melt this in, and we'll do the same thing again. Okay. Right? So you're just turning it just so that the glass doesn't fall off the rod, and we're waiting for those colors to melt in. Now she's just slowly turning the glass in here just to pour the colors to melt in. Here's all the colors that we can choose from. And then we can we roll the colors, then we roll the molten lava and the colors again. Laura, what do you think about this? I'm very nervous. Very nervous? <laughs> yeah. What are you nervous about? Okay, so I'll pop this on the rollers and we're going to come to the end of this bench. And we're just kind of caressing this glass here, getting it into a round shape, just so we can get that air bubble nice and even. So this is where the, she's just sanitizing the tip. She's actually going to do the glass blowing part. Just the tip. That's it, and stop. That's it. We'll just kind of do this a few times, okay? Just so we get that nice break off line. I'm so nervous to mess it up. You're, you're going to do fine. You're not going to mess it up. She looks like a professional. Once I'm giving it a really neat, we're going to flatten the face, okay? That looks gorgeous. Stick this in the middle. Okay, we're going to start turning once again. Just going to lightly score all the way around here. Just like that. Professional glass blower now. And stop, fantastic. We'll do that one more time. Okay, almost there. We're dilating. And I'm just going to torture it a little bit just so it's nice and smooth, okay? Okay. Right or left handed? Right handed. Sweet, you're standing kind of in the right spot. So your right hand will go overhand on the rod, yep. left hand will go underhand, and just okay. kind of behind my hands, just gonna all oh, be wow. kind of turn into themselves. I was giving like soft serve ice cream <laughs> looking first there. Oh, he's an expert blower. Of course, Fane is a natural at this, just like he is at every freaking thing he tries. So you sucked at that time? Yeah, I got to blow and suck today. <laughs> and it made the hole in the bowl. One more. Perfect. So, how was that? That was, um, for me, sorry, I'm gonna just cut you off. That was pretty dope. I enjoyed it. They were very helpful and made you feel comfortable and professional when you were there. Yes, honestly, they helped me a lot more than they helped you. But I think it's because he could tell, like, I was really nervous. But it was it was really nice. I'm glad that he, like, you know, if I was kind of nervous to hold one of the tools, he, like, kind of took control of it. Great teachers. So, yeah, yeah, they were really cool. So, highly recommend it if you're able to do it. It was something unique and new that we've never done before. Freaking, we blew glass. We made something that never existed into the world. Thank God to suck and blow. I know. Oh, sorry. I get. I got the special treatment. So now that that's done, are you ready to head to dinner? Because like it's pretty much the end of the day. It's our last specialty restaurant tonight. And everyone's been talking so highly of it. Yes, I have high hopes for this one, and I've really never had much French food to be honest. So yeah. we'll see. One hour later. Jeez, look at Laura. That's a nice dress. You, you, you and these patterns are really nice. I know. I used to wear like all black pretty much and I've just gotten so into like bright colors and stuff the past few years. Because of me? Is no, that what you're no, saying? No, because of you. This is like my favorite dress I brought on the trip so I wanted to save it for a night when I knew I was gonna like make myself look nice. You look nice all the time, what do you mean? But, like do my full makeup, you know? Do the spin, do the spin so everyone can see. Look at that. Nice, yeah. You ready to go to dinner? Yeah, we gotta go take some pictures first though. And then this is what I'm wearing. Button-up shirt, typical, has two cans on it. Jeans, Air Maxes. We actually packed away all our clothes because like tonight's the last night, so we just put our stuff out. But I do have a question for any of the guys or girls that know how to do this. How do I wear shirts like this on cruise ships and not have them be wrinkled. Cause I know there used to be like an ironing room, but I think they took that away on most cruise ships now. What do I do? I don't want to pay for like a dry cleaning or laundry service. What do you guys do, get like wrinkle releaser or something? I don't know. See, I've used the wrinkle release before and I feel like it doesn't actually do anything. They can't bring steamers or any, like how do people look so nice in suits and stuff? And I can't, I can barely get my, my, my shirt ironed. Yeah, let us know if there's like a trick or a secret that we don't know about, but Fang needs an iron. <laughs> Jeez. We just had like a unique situation happen to us. Very significant, very heartwarming and heartfelt. It kind of threw me off a little bit from today as we were going to dinner. Yeah, so earlier we were passing by this older couple and... Right after we got ice cream. Yeah, they noticed that Fane had a nice camera and they also had a nice camera and they were like, hey, can you please take our picture? It looks like you would know how to use it. Like, yeah. please take our picture. And so like Fane took a bunch of photos. Like he gave them like a mini photo shoot to be honest. I really didn't know how to use a camera because it was a Nikon and I'm usually like a Canon Sony most 
mostly Sony shooter, so I was trying to figure out how to do things. We were just walking around the ship about to go to dinner, and this man runs up to face. Literally runs up a flight of stairs. You, you, yeah. thank you so much. And for a second we like forgot who he was, yeah. but they were like literally so happy about their photos that Fame took. They were surprised, it was like the 50, 50, 25th anniversary or something. 50. Fifth. 55th? Oh, I was lowballing because so I was like, I wasn't sure. They loved all the photos. I mean, I am pretty good at what I do, so I mean, oh. I don't really know what to say. But no, it was awesome. Like, I've never had that happen. We kind of like made, they said we made their whole trip, and that's awesome. Yeah, and they also said that they had been looking around the whole ship for you yes, for like for hours. two hours. Yeah, two hours. That was really nice to make someone's night like that. We are here at Murano. What is with all these places? It doesn't look dark on camera, but this place is dark. This feels like even more fancy than any restaurant we've been <laughs> For real. This is how dark it really is. This is what it looks like in my eyes right now. That's how dark it is. Also, this is not with the other specialty restaurants. It's like hidden off by itself behind the bar. Thank you. When is the last time we've been to a restaurant that uses napkin rings? Is it Ascot's? I don't even know, to be honest. We're over here using Uber Eats, upgrading to fancy dining. And tomorrow evening, we will be back to, to Uber Eats. Eats. We actually might step it up a little bit and use pub get pub subs. I forgot about that plan. Can we just leave here now and go get pub subs? Oh no, I'm gonna eat here. Pub subs, this, no. No, but this is like a very small restaurant from what I can see. And it, it feels like very intimate. Yeah, it's a really small tucked away venue. If you're curious about the menu, here it is. All three, dang, three courses? Four, four courses and dessert? What did I sign us up for? Jeez, okay. This is gonna be an experience, just to say that. There's two different sides to the menu though. There's the five senses side and the a la carte side. So I'm still not sure what we're able to order. Yes, that's good. That's great, thank you. Fancy, fancy. It was a screw top. Oh, he gave you the cheap stuff. That's what that comes with my classic package. Remember that one time you bought Bucky wine for Mariner and you were just like, no, this isn't it. And we bought the drink so, package. Oh my God, it tasted like syrup. So with the five cents aside, each one comes with a wine pairing. And I think it costs like $125 and it's not included in your, pa your dining package. But this side over here is included in your dining package. And you can pick from this one, like all the, except for the caviar, because caviar is market price. We've only gotten our bread and it's already five stars. I literally got like goosebumps when he was telling me about the bread because he said this is a black olive bread, which I freaking love black olive. And then this is French bread, which is an interesting shape. And then the butter. And our butter. I bet I could literally like... And yet she gets mad at me for talking about a genital washing station when we got on board. There's no way they have a genital cleaning fountain right here. That is... Dope. I haven't seen one of those since Bar Portugal. Bar? No, to clean your genitals. What? Yeah, you lay down and you push the button and you spray your genitals. You're not putting that in the It's vlog. a European thing. No, it's not. You just made that up and you're freaking weird and you're not putting that in the vlog. Start. Wow. Very close to Sorry. Wow, thank you. Thank you. What did you say this was? Something with a pan-seared scallop, which I've never had a scallop. Oh, honey, that's you can pass that. Like you can, you can pass that over it? to me. Come on, let me try the sauce first. <laughs> sauce is good. Okay, I think this is a bit of scallop. If you like it, that's good scallop then. Not all scallop is cooked the same. Look at me being adventurous. It's not that you don't like seafood. You just have a really bougie taste palette. I guess I've just had really bad seafood. You know how I know we're in like a fancy restaurant? Wow. She bought me my drink and she included the straw. Anywhere else they would have left the straw off and we would have been waiting for a straw forever. I bet we could get like 10 straws right now. We can make a super straw. Like you can go stand over there and you can probably drink my drink if you want to. And we would be kicked out. This low key, high key might be the best lobster biscuit I've ever had in my life. That's quite the statement. It tastes like lobster, but it doesn't taste like lobster, if that makes sense. Like, it's not like, would you say chickeny? It's not lobstery. It's, but it tastes like lobster. What did you get? Um, this is just like the heirloom tomato salad. It has Granny Smith apples with it too, which I don't know if I'll really eat that. So, we're having this lobster prepared table side for us. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. And this is no added cost. This is part of our package. Salty butter. There goes the lobster tails.
that the emotion is very important condiment for our sauce. Look at Laura looking at it. <laughs> it smells really good. It does. I wish you guys can smell this. It smells so good. Here we go. Look at that. Sorry, I didn't have the glasses on. Look at that. So we're ending the twenty second into the lobster and we know the lobster is going out. I love me some fire. Laura doesn't even look at me like this. <laughs> and now he is plating it. And my colleague Mr. Kadek is gonna carve the shadow bill too. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be a certain thing. Wow. We also got some beef tenderloin. He's carving it right there next to where the lobsters were. So we're having a little surf and turf night. You can see the steam just coming off of that thing. You better close your mouth before you catch flies. I'm in shock right now. Look at this meal. So that's the lobster right there. And obviously that's the beef tenderloin. The mashed potatoes. I am salivating right now. Yeah, I can see it the whole time. For ship shape, please don't ever expect me to plate like this because you probably won't get that. Try it out, see what it tastes okay. like. I know it's not better than my steak. I know it's not Laura, Laura, Laura. Just be smart with your words. I don't ruin this for me. I'm just like really impressed by the presentation and the whole experience and all that. Like that's what I'm still in shock. Like I haven't even touched my food yet. I'm just in shock. I wasn't expecting this whole setup. This is like top five steaks I've ever tasted. This is number five. Like mine are one through four, right? Sure. Yeah, Laura, you pretty much cleaned your plate. It must have been good. The lobster was okay, but I'm not a huge lobster person. But the steak... Oh, it feels like there's a balloon in my stomach right now. Just like a lot of protein, I guess. Maybe you ate so fast you got a whole bunch of air in your stomach. I'm not okay. Even though we're kind of full, we always have room for a nightcap. Barely. We tried this for the first time yesterday, the rose water at the World Class Bar, and it's so good. And I'm so sad this is only my second and last one of the trip. That's what happens. Like, we usually wait too long to like try something, and then we like it, and it's, it's like too short of a time. So good. Then I got my typical tequila drink. It's kind of like a spicy margarita. Well, that's it. That is over. That's all she wrote. That's the end of our first celebrity cruise together. I had so much fun, but I, I am ready to go home. <laughs> I'm ready to go to sleep. So I know we're about to just walk into our cabin and end this thing, but we got a gift. Oh. Someone added two cat magnets. Oh my God. And they have little clothespins on them. Oh, no. How cute. Thank you. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed what you saw, and also that smash that like button. And if you really liked us and you want to see more of us, you can hit that join button down below to join our memberships for a few extra perks. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys later. Bye. Much, much, much later. So we just got back home and we realized we didn't show you guys like the finished product of the glass blowing experience. So, what? not a better time to show it than now. All right, Laura, let's see yours first. Bam. Look at that. <laughs> I think I got pink, purple, and blue, and it just kind of blended together. Did you ask for blue? Because I don't remember you asking for blue. Yeah, I did. I just thought it was going to be a lighter blue. It ended up being like a pretty dark one on the bottom, but I yeah. like how it turned out. I wouldn't change it at all. No, it looks nice. And what are you going to use it for? My makeup brushes. Nice. Well, yeah, look at that. I actually like really like it. And then let's see that green bowl that I made. <laughs> it does look kind of weird. It looks like one of those pop it things that you like push down on and it pops back up. Yeah, it does. It's a very like thick bowl. I wasn't expecting it to be like this thick and then like this high. I thought it was gonna be like half this height, but I think we got like the hookup cause like he made a really big bowl for us. And it's really pretty. I love like the gradient of the colors. I think you just got green and white, right? Yeah. I'd recommend doing it if you can on the ship. I think it was worth it. I literally made this. I think I might give this to my mom, like a macaroni art thing. Like, hey mom, I made this for you on my cruise. Be a little, you should glue some macaroni to the side. Don't your body feel so tired.